Okay, good afternoon my dear students, how are you? Good afternoon to you all. Okay, <coughs> some of you already joined. Uh, good afternoon, Anik and Ilma Walik Maslam Baba. How are you? Aryan, good afternoon. Rifat Sharia Walik Maslam. Aki Waidid Walik Maslam. Aryan Walik Maslam. So, Anik, good afternoon, Baba. I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. How are you? So, Nabila Walik Maslam. Samia Shamma Walik Maslam. So, Aki Waidid, how are you? So, I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. So, Maimuna. Walaikum Aslam, Tuli Walaikum Aslam, music is good, thank you, yep, so you're fine. So, <coughs> and Ibra's again, so Walaikum Aslam, and uh, Walaikum Aslam, so everyone, so thank you, uh, how are you today? Uh, let's start our class, so this is your test and you know, uh, is today your test is uh, this 13 test number 13 and uh, it is for especially for class 9 and 10 but some of the students who want actually they can at also attend and your topic today is completing sentences Just a minute. Okay, let's start now. And uh, actually your topic is uh, completing sentence. Uh, so, you know, this is a very important grammatical topic for the students of class 9 and 10. But I must say, uh, actually completing sentence, taking a test online, it's really very tough for the teacher to uh, conduct a test or uh, uh, actually give a test for the students uh, on completing sentence. Why? Because if I give one sentence uh, uh, incomplete and to make the students complete the sentence, then so many answers may come. That's why it's really very tough for the teacher to uh, uh, tough for the teacher uh, to actually assess the uh, answers for the students. So that's why uh, it's very tough. Actually, I have converted this completing sentences uh, test on completing sentences into. Uh, some short forms actually uh, students what students to make mistakes and mostly I have seen that students make mistakes in their in writing the verb forms whenever they complete a sentence that's why uh, for all through this test I'm giving much more importance on the verbs probably uh, you may be confused that sir is it the test of right use of verbs actually not or uh, it may be like that because so whenever you go to complete a sentence, it, you mostly make mistakes in uh, in using the uh, verb correctly. If you can use the verb correctly, then I think your sentence will be right. Because uh, teachers or the examiners keep much more importance on the use of the verb correctly. When a student uh, can write the verb correctly, so uh, teachers become very flexible or become very sympathetic for the for the writing or for the students. That's why actually I have arranged this test in that way. And probably <clears throat> you are ready for the test and uh, let's go then. Yes, Walaikum Aslam Nibir, how are you? Ki uh, say how many classes do you do in Friday? And uh, Nibras, actually I take three tests on Friday. So first test for the students of class six and seven, that is starts from two to three o'clock. And uh, uh, for next for the test for class eight, which starts at 3.30 and ends at 4.30. And this is the third number test, which is for the students of class nine and 10. Probably you understand that, thank you. 
you are ready that's good so let's go so i'll go for some of the mcq questions first uh probably don't uh, say that so this is out of the topic not like that okay uh, actually whenever you are learning a language no topic is segregated or actually separated from your learning that language okay uh, whenever you are using the language you are not actually using uh, a specific grammatical topic on that you are using all the topics together so that's why i think each and every topic is important and uh, for your test i think uh, you can take uh, much more preparation or you can take um, good preparation for all of the topics for one single topic okay then so let's start and your there are five options for you and there are five sen four sentences as you see in your first uh, mcq question this is very tough though this type of question doesn't usually come to your exam but i think uh, mcq questions is the toughest uh, type of question for any student because uh, for mcq a student has to have a lot of knowledge on grammar and actually i must say uh, he has to have a clear conception about the grammar of course of each and every grammar especially when you go for the correct or choose a correct sentence okay and Nibras, yes you can join no problem so uh, there are four sentences and you will have to choose one which one you think is appropriate to write uh, and let's start now and no need to mention the whole sentence write down the whole sentence you simply write down the number as it's really very tough for you to write down in the comments to uh, for uh, the whole sentence that's why i have just made it so simple for you that you can just simply write down the number and it's okay okay and i have got some of your answers that's good and congratulations actually so many answers i have got so far yes and uh, but i think all of you are writing the same answer no difference is there that's uh, it's clear to me that you have understood which one is the correct answer okay so your answer is absolutely right answer and your answer is c i'm sorry that means all of your answers are wrong that means you have been just bolt out uh, in your first answer that means all of you have written down the wrong answer another question why your answers is wrong let's let's explain now i will not accept any more answer so the first one no other animals is as ferocious as a lion so in this sentence this sentence is wrong why because no other animals wrote it a plural is that's why first answer uh, because there is the mistake in the subject verb agreement in the first sentence go to the second sentence there you see did the lion showed that means there we have used the auxiliary verb did after that we have the past participle form of the verb okay past participle form of the verb that's why uh, this b answer is also wrong uh, whenever if you go to number d and most of you have written down the answer d and for your d explanation is that there is a spelling mistake of the word t h o r n e na T-H-O-R-N Probably you know the difference between these two words T-H-O-R-N T-H-O-R-N Thorn Thorn man ho chhe kata T-H-O-R-N-E Actually eta kono shab doi na T-H-R-O-N-E Thorn Jete ke bol hoche shinghashon So probably there is a spelling mistake here In your answer number D That's why your answer number D is inappropriate Not correct but in answer number C there you see he did not have to feel angry for the lion. So in this sentence there is no mistake. And your answer that's why answer is C is absolutely the right answer. So uh, in your first answer I'm sorry. None of you has got any mark. So the next question for you. So be careful. Be careful about all of the answers. So your next question for you is there. Uh, 
The next question for you is there, is anger nothing but a vice or it should be controlled for, is just a read. Sir, I amito mone korechi print mistake. Actually, this is not the right thing I keep because uh, there are four sentences and your only one sentence is correct, but the other sentences are not right. So, whatever the mistake is, either printing mistake or in the mistake in the use of punctuations and so on. So, mistake is always mistake. So, you please write down the answer. Number two. Okay, now let's see. Let's see then for your answer number. <coughs> so don't be so afraid. Don't be so afraid that all of your answers will be wrong, not like that. Actually, uh, do you have any problem in network? Or some of you are writing that you have network problem. I'm really sorry for that. Actually, we have nothing to do for that. Uh, and here, uh, you are very clever. So this time, probably you will not make any mistake. So you are so clever in this. You have been you have taken time to write down the answer and all of you are writing the same answer so let's see which one is the right answer <laughs> okay you have to make it hurry uh, yes is anger nothing but not so first answer the option is wrong the option actually uh, option take your answer absolutely is the right answer so this time you have got six okay and your answer is absolutely it should be controlled by us for our own sake that's the right answer uh, achha, achha. Uh, Samiha, uh, thank you or uh, actually I will say sorry for it but your marks will not be counted for that okay Achha. so uh, here it begets nothing but the ors thabe of the for ekhane superlative degree boshate hobe that's why c number was wrong we should be emotionally imbalanced now we should be emotionally balanced so that's why your answer b is absolutely the right answer absolutely right answer sorry uh, it to sound a problem hobe akib it to pore thik hobe eta karon ami je the mic i am using it actually am mobile e charge nei our J Aki port Bevakore mobile charge the high our mic to set Kortai. So economy about the mic to cool a reke mobile to charge ditch. That's why it to a problem can think the class need the Aslonic Shama legate. That's why I was not able to give charge. So a jolly by a canicho admission. So the next option. So the next question is there. Okay, and here you see, choose the correct answer from the alternatives and there are four options before you and you will have to choose one because there is only one answer which is correct. So let's see, you can write down the correct answer this time. And don't be, don't make so hurry, but actually you must take time, but not too much time actually. So, but be prompt. and each and every word you have to read you have to go through because mistake there be anywhere even sometimes in the punctuation using punctuation also so be careful and write down the answer so is she cast the picture Okay, Shamma, I've got your answer. And anyone, would you please write down the answer? Don't copy others. You write down yourself, please. And I just always teach my students one thing. Always be honest. And the best reward for your honesty is immense. Because 
you will get a lot of satisfaction at your heart you will you will feel happy you will get happiness for that okay and this time you are very clever you are taking time you are writing the correct answer and wonderful that's good and wonderful right so one has written down d and nazmo sakib and also nibir d but all of you are writing b so let's see the right answer which one is the right answer so okay let's go and b is absolutely the right answer not d b is absolutely the right answer not d another question why so the first answer a is wrong because of all land animals have it is a singular and it is plural have so it is bull i don't his ears looked it is a bull at c number heavy loads and trunks can be carried out na ekhane carried out ta hocche bhul karon hocche je carry out mane kono kichu sampadan kora thik ache carry out mane bohon kora na jemon i have carried out my job my duty and so on so this out is the word that is mistake okay and a this uh, so the right answer it does not look beautiful at all it is absolutely the right answer b number is absolutely the right answer thank you very much and most of you have written down the correct answer yeah, and nazmu uh, sakib and actually uh, afif uh, and uh, almost a very few of them have made the mistake and nibir also <clears throat> okay let's see then the next question for you is here do you think it's tough no no so choose the correct sentence from the alternatives and there are four options probably you can see the screen there so your options are there and these options are related to power crisis which is the um, almost talked of the topic now it is so you just choose your answer don't get frustrated actually so you this type of questions are very new to you usually this type of questions comes uh, questions come to the a competitive test like university admission test and uh, bcs exam uh, that's why this is somehow very familiar unfamiliar to you and it may seem tough to you that's why okay you mention the number and write down the answer i've got two answers there before charia and akif i did and samiha thank you so I've got three answers there. So would you please write down everyone the options? You can simply write down the options. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, side this. So electric to choto at boost it to show the button. I'm sorry for that. You are so clever, you are taking time and writing the correct answer, most of you. You have to be very careful, very, a lot of good students sometimes make mistakes in the same single questions. Uh, but after that, I'm really so surprised that you are making the right answer. You are writing the correct answer, almost all of you. So thank you. And your answer is absolutely right. Great. Congratulations. So your answer is absolutely the right answer. And that's how essential social awareness is in this regard, is the right answer. And Tuli has written down C. I must say Tuli, the government airpore have bojbe has u bosta bare. Government airpore has u bosta bare, have u bosta bare. But uh, government airpore has bojbe, uh, jokhon a taking steps. Jekhane a noun of multitude bojhabe na, a noun of multitude habe na, tokhon ashule has habe. Our government do the noun of multitude hai, to shake it actually have both the body so only in our government report has both been so your answer was wrong 
and uh, but the rest of you have written on the correct answer great congratulations thank you very much we are going for the last question there and this time uh, probably it's clear to you and you just uh, think or read the question then choose the correct sentence from the alternatives there are four alternatives as you see and one is correct but the other three are wrong uh, that's why you have to be very careful to select your right answer so clever so to one that are talking about the channel who's the watch here I'm gonna to Russell a who's the better to I don't question with the actually cool shows and your answer is absolutely the right answer great congratulations and D is absolutely the right answer so the other way other answers are wrong the invitation was gladly accepted with night by hobby that's why first answer was wrong when I went there, he does not receive me unfriendly. When I went there, sequence of tense to maintain Korahani. He did not receive her. It How glad to see the CBS was Aina. Exclamatory sentence Amrajani. The Shobha is a subject of our portion. That's why it how glad to see the CBS I was. Absolutely the right answer. Okay. That's good. And your answer D is absolutely the right answer. So Congratulations this time. All of you have made the right answer. Good. And uh, out of this five, how much have you got? Will you please write down your marks? Uh, three out of five, four out of five. Okay. So no problem. None of you has got five, of course, uh, because that was not possible. Uh, okay, so the next here you see some fill in the blanks, especially you will have to write the verb correctly. And I think if you can write the verb correctly, you can complete the sentence. Okay, he went to sleep after he dashed his dinner. Uh, you please write down the answer. This is so easy for you. And I think you'll all will be able to write down the correct answer. Everyone write down hurry up. did not uh, give any answer to any question so that marks will not be counted okay and that's good your answer uh, Samiha are you writing had why and you have given a star marks there oh I tell you, it should be had had okay half equality but that's good and your answer is great absolutely the right answer great congratulations so had had is absolutely the right answer so all of you have written down the correct answer and good congratulations for that the so next question the doctor had died before the patient come to see him okay and uh, i think this answer is very easy for you and uh, let's write down the answer please that's wonderful this time actually i see all of you I have written down the answers at the same time. You are very fast. And that's wonderful. That's good. And your answer is absolutely the right answer. Great congratulations. Your answer is came because you know before, 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 before means actually before a put the past perfect. 
এবং বিফোরে পড়ে পাস ইন্ডিফিনিট টেন্স হবে দ্যাটস ওয়াই ইউ আনসার ইজ অ্যাবসোলুটলি রাইট আনসার গুড কনগ্রাচুলেশন এন্ড দ্য নেক্সট কোশ্চেন ফর ইউ ইজ দি अदर দি ফ্লি বিফোর দ্য পুলিশ কেম সো হোয়াট উইল বি দ্য আনসার দেন देयर आर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आई सी बट एक्चुअली सम ऑफ यू आर राइटिंग द आंसर सो वुड यू प्लीज राइट डाउन द आंसर ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम आल्सो सकी वुड यू प्लीज करेक्ट द स्पेलिंग फ्लेंस एंड दैट्स गुड थैंक यू वेरी मच आई गॉट योर आंसर्स एंड दिस इज अ थिंग दैट्स राइट बिकॉज़ सो बिफोर देयर इज कनेक्शन बिफोर and before if you want to use any tense before uh, then we will have to use the tense in the past perfect tense that's why your answer is absolutely the right answer good congratulation and the next question for you you will take rest after he complete his homework he will take rest after he complete his homework So uh, this time you probably uh, you write down the answer. I mean, on the sound to take over the chat. Sound to take over the chat. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's why you have written down the answer after complete so kin likha cho this complete but you do please think it again. Uh Jerry likha cho Abdullah Nahyan had completed. So I'm sorry uh, there are confusions. I'm sorry your answer has completed is the right answer because there you see there is a future indefinite tense and after future indefinite tense you will have to use the pre present perfect okay you will have to use the present perfect tense and that's why your answer has completed is the right answer good congratulations those who have written down has completed okay we are going next and the last five question number five is there you can listen to me clearly now the students stood up after the teacher entered the classroom uh, the students stood up after the teacher entered the classroom so you you please write down the answer probably you can see see the screen clearly and that's good your answer is right so your answer had entered is absolutely the right answer because uh, you know in this sentence there is after and after pore past perfect tense hoy that's wonderful so amra is slide theke jeta shiklam seta mone rakhte hobe after after before before whenever your tense is uh, there are two tenses one is past indefinite another one is past perfect so you will use past perfect tense after after mane after er pore and before before that means before er purbe Uh, that's the right so thank you very much and we are going for the next slide acha okay so the next question he ran first lest he miss the class so do please write down the answer now he ran first lest he miss the class and there you see you 
every time you will ha you always have to look at the conjunction uh, you have to look at the conjunction and you will have to look at your verb uh, and uh, because you have to identify the tense okay that's wonderful and all of you are writing the correct answer great and that's really appreciating that's really great all of you have written down the correct answer and the next question for you no sooner we reach home then the train started and no sooner we reach That's wonderful and you are writing the correct answer. Great. Congratulations. My goodness. A lot of answers are coming together. Thank you very much and your answer is absolutely the right answer. That perhaps these rules are very clear to you. Uh, okay. So next we are going next. Question number three is there. That's wonderful. <clears throat> wonderful preparation indeed. And you see scarcely he get the news when he fell to the ground scarcely he get the news when he fell to the ground so here you see your had he got in wow Okay, you are giving your, you are doing fine, you are giving all the answers together, that's really wonderful and this is a great shot indeed. So your answer, had he got, is the right answer or you can also write down had he gotten because we know there are two past participle form of the verb get, one is got, another one is gotten and that's why your answer is correct. The next question. Hardly he lie on the floor when he fell asleep. So would you please write down the answer? Hardly he lie on the floor when he fell asleep. Okay, let's see and that's good. And this is the thing that actually you have not forgotten. I really appreciate that. I really salute all of you that uh, whenever you are writing the answers, you are using the verb subject in between auxiliary verb and past principle form of the verb. This is a very important thing. And I, uh, I have seen none of you have made the mistake uh, in writing that answer. And that's appreciating. And you are wonderful. You are talented. You are really meritorious. And I really salute you for that. Okay. And your answer is absolutely the right answer. Good. Congratulations. So, and the last question is here. So, hardly had the teacher entered the classroom, you will have to use a conjunction there. Either the conjunction, you know the conjunction. So, there are two conjunctions can be used in this sentence. So, if you can just write down any of them, your answer will be the right answer. So, hardly had the teacher entered the classroom, as the students stood up. Okay, there are two answers. And if you can write down one, you, are, you will get marks, no problem. But if you can write down both of them, that's wow, that's wonderful. And Shamma, thank you very much. You have written down two of the answers. That's great. And your answer is either when or before. Because if your sentence starts with hardly had, as you know, so whenever there is hardly had, you will have to use another convention that is called when or before. That's wonderful. And any of the, your answers is correct. Thank you. Okay, we are going next. So uh, this is from out of six. Out of five, how much have you got? Can you please write it down? 
five. Thank you. Congratulations. We are going for the next question. Yeah, your next question is there. So you see, each of the slides actually contains five marks. So whenever you have completed one slide, so you must write down your marks. Uh, I think I should not dictate, dictate you for that. Okay, write down your marks while he have his breakfast. The telephone rang. Wow, that's wonderful and your answer is correct. That's good. Can you know the mother cast came Should the proton question to Chara? Uh, don't like a bolt quote the parchina. So let's see to the end of the test. I'm a shish position the gale busta barbo. Just that's wonderful. So far, you are you are doing wonderful. Excellent. I really appreciate you for that. And yes, was having as absolute the right answer. I'm sure if you give these questions to any of the student and they will get puzzled and they will probably uh, will not be able to write the correct answers for that. But you are doing all of you. Thank you very much. So while get on the rickshaw, he fell down. And this rule is very clear to you. This is the thing that I must appreciate. Okay, while get on the rickshaw, he fell down. So there you see. Yeah. Okay, that's really good. You are brilliant, actually. I really thank you. And all of you have oh, only one. Shamma, I'm sorry. So only your answer is wrong. But all the answers are correct. You are writing was getting. And why was getting? So this is the thing that you have to be very careful about the rule. When there is a subject after a while, you will have to use a past continuous tense. But when there is while, there is no subject and the verb will get ing form. Okay, probably you understand. Okay, the next question for you. He is enough brilliant to get or brilliant enough to get the highest marks in the exam that's why there are two options you will have to choose one you will have to choose one would you please write down the answer This time you are too clever, too brilliant your, for your brilliant answer. I really appreciate your brilliance for your brilliant answer and prove to be the brilliant in it. So the second one is absolutely the right answer. Good, congratulations. Then the question number four is there. So while you was taking online class, electricity go up. Uh, you please mention the number. Just talented and your answer is absolutely the right answer and went is the right answer, no doubt. And then the last question of the slide is that he dreamt a nice dream while he take a short nap after lunch. So, 
what answer will you this will you will you write down now? And this is very clear from the rule that after while, when there is subject, you will have to use the tense that is past continuous. But if there is no subject, simply we will add ing after the verb. That's the right answer and great congratulation. So would you please write down your marks? We are going next. So this slide is on conditionals and probably it's clear to you. As you know, there are four conditionals. The first conditional is present plus future. Second conditional is verb past tense. Thake. Third conditional is had plus v3. Among fourth conditional, actually there is uh, no name like fourth conditional, but fourth conditional is called zero conditional when there is no sequence of tense. Only present is equal to present. For example, uh, when uh, temperature rises, ice melts. That means in this sentence we have used two present tense. So these type of tenses are called uh, conditionals are called zero conditional. Okay, you are writing the answer and your answer is absolutely the right answer. You can write down would fly or you can also write down could fly. So both of your answers are correct. Uh, I will take both of the answers would fly or could fly. Okay. That's wonderful. Thank you. And all of you are participating. That's looking so nice actually and I feel so good and your question is there had I known him earlier I invite him to the party so you see had I known him earlier and this is again the third conditional as you know so you will have to complete the sentence using third conditionals and uh, just mention the number and write down the answer uh, Shaun, Joya, okay. Yeah. And Ritu. Had I known him earlier, okay, that's good. And I would have invited, that's the right answer. I would have invited. And question number three is there if I could sing, I entertain all the guests. So now please write down the answer. Sabito. You're confident. again <laughs> okay so uh, if I could join I could sing sorry if I could sing I entertain all the guests so here you see uh, would entertain is the right answer and the next question for you is there I would have gone there if I be you and there is a to be verb and you all of you please write down the answer hurry up for answer number four and of course of course maybe it could entertain hobby would entertain or could entertain you can also write because there are three uh, uh, three model of liver then you can use uh, would could or might so all of your answers are correct if you write down would or could or might because this uh, though there must have some differences between uh, would could or might uh, but actually in this sentence your your these answers are correct and that's right had been is absolutely the right answer and great congratulations and uh, no, 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 Nibras, no problem. You can just stay here so long you can, you want, or you can go up 
you can write down the answer also if you like and the last question of this slide is that if you had studied hard you will stand first in the exam if you had studied hard you stand first in the exam Okay, so let's go and your answer is absolutely right answer. Great, congratulations. So now write down your marks. Uh, Afifa, I'm sorry, this is not wood stand. I'm sorry, your answer is wrong. Uh, and here, this is the third conditional. That's why you will have to use wood, could, might, have, plus V3. Probably you understand that you are, you are wrong. You gave a post on the group. Actually, I, I shared this class to the group. Okay, thank you. And then uh, this time, gradually becoming harder. So I think uh, you will be able to write the correct answers in this slide also. So let's try. Many years have passed since I meet him last. So, would you please write down the answer? Really, you are today. You are participating so well. Uh, I really appreciate it. All of you are writing the answers, and actually, all of you are writing the correct answers. You are really so talented. You have taken a good preparation for it. And that's really awesome. And your answer is absolutely the right answer. Good congratulations. So we are going next. It is many months since online class take by the students. And uh, one thing that you have to be careful about that the students take the class and uh, teacher give the class or give the test. Akiv, uh, yes, that's good. Thank you. But you must not use any contraction uh, whenever you are writing the answer of any grammar. Okay, and do you see your answer? Where taken is absolutely the right answer. Uh, good congratulations. So there you see, since he was suffering from fever and throat ache, he admit to a hospital. Okay, and here you see. Uh, be careful about the about the uh, about the verb whenever you are using about the active and passive form of the verb, and it's very careful. You have to be very careful, alert enough, and the subject verb agreement as well. So, Shaun, you are writing the answer. Where taken, Maimuna? You are writing where taken, and this is for your question number three. That's good. So, write on question number C. Thank you. Uh, and this is the right answer. Was admitted is absolutely the right answer. And good congratulations for it. So your next question is, uh, he lie on the floor since it is morning. He lie as uh, you are sometimes very confused about the past and past principle form of the verb lie. 
as I am just saying that lie, lay, lane, which means actually shoyan kora. Tikatse. Lie director or to roti, lie money, mitha bola hotabare. So mitha bola judi hoi, I will shake it. Lied, lied. He lied, lied. Okay. Lied, lied, lied. But lie, lay, lane. Jokuntar or to say shoyan kora. And your answer is absolutely the right answer. Good. This uh, present continuous tense, and your answer is correct. So the last number, many days passed by since the warning notice hang on the school gates. Many days passed by since the warning notice hang on the school gates. Right, and your answer is absolutely the right answer. So, had been hung is the right answer. Good congratulations. So, this time all of you have written down the correct answer. You died on your marks now. We are going next. So, the next question, next slide is again fill in the blanks, and the rule is here as though or as if. So, you are very careful about writing the answer. Thank you, and today almost all of you will pass in the test. Okay. And probably will get a plus. So he walks as if his leg break. Which one is... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the answer is given. I'm sorry. The answer is given. So was broken is the answer so you'll get marks no problem i'm giving you next options so there next question is there he drove the car so fast as if there be no vehicle on the road bonus mark okay <laughs> okay okay i will get the marks or you could write down the correct answer i was sure That's good and wonderful and your answer is correct. Yes, let's see and had, to, had been is absolutely the right answer. He drove the car so fast as if there had been no vehicle. As there you saw a C as to as if Jokon Thakbuto Khanagata past to report a past perfect hobby. At present Thakle, past infinite hobby. But be very, you will, have to, you will have to be very careful about the use of the active and passive verb. You will have to, for example, if you go to question number A and there you see your verb was passive. That is very important. So be always careful about the, ten, about the tense and the form of the verb, whether the verb is active or passive. And then the man acted as if everything no to him. Okay, and write on the answer. We have 10 minutes in hand to go and we'll, within that time we will have to complete the test. And I think you are doing fine and we will uh, finish the test inshallah. On our time, on the right time. And that's good. Your answer is absolutely the right answer because this is again the rules of as door as if and before as door as if if your tense is passed. So after that you will use the past perfect tense. But this verb is in the passive form. That's why I had their poriamra bin bushethi and then past participle form of the verb. So had been known is absolutely the right answer. He take to hospital as though he had been a severe patient. You just be careful of the tense because there must have give, must be given one tense. Actor tense, they are thakbe. 
so you have to know the sequence of tense because you have to relate the tense she tends to also relate good to have identify good to have it yeah surely I'm our which I can contest to have it and he was taken is the right answer so the last question of this slide the resourced as though the resourced as though the football match win by them The resource as though the football match win and uh, be careful about the pronunciation of the past pursuit form of the verb win and you know win one one not win on on okay uh, probably you understand that and your answer is absolutely right answer and it is had been won that's good so thank you very much uh, you have written down almost all the right answers here in this slide I have seen so far I have seen okay that's wonderful so the next slide for you is here I can take it to top of it how many we have just uh, in the front we have just uh, five slides 12 five slides in the front five means actually four slides in the front so uh, this two or three slides a bit tough okay so you'll have to be careful so he uh, he worked hard Okay, he worked hard. He worked hard so as pass the test. He worked hard so as to pass the test. That's that's the right answer. Good congratulations. So he worked hard so as to pass the test, and to pass is the right answer. We are going next. Our houses construct so as to withstand the earthquake so as to withstand the earthquake okay, okay I'm sorry I'm right caller said okay, our houses construct uh, so our house is constructed so as to withstand the earthquake Right should be constructed is the right answer good. Thank you very much for your right answer and I'm going for the next So be sure uh, to read the newspaper so as to know the latest No tuna know the latest news of coronavirus Uh, be sure to read the newspaper uh, to read the newspaper so as to know the latest news of coronavirus two will be omitted there exactly so as to to know now so as to be sure so as to be known that's the right answer and congratulations for this answer especially i was actually confused that you may make mistake there but that's absolutely the right answer good to be known that's wonderful okay so the next question poor as they were so be honest poor as they were so be honest poor as they were so be honest you're you're like bullets you're shooting us you're shooting so nicely <laughs> that's 
that's really wonderful wonderful and your answer is absolutely right again so where one is poor as they are jodi hoto so so are honest seta hoto so this tense should be related and this is called sequence of tense this is very important that's why wonderful and okay the last question of the slide is here so here you see he was so tired that the test finish in time so be a bit very careful about this answer uh, he was so tired that the test finish in time uh, he was so tired that what happened to you today my goodness i'm impressed i'm i'm greatly impressed uh tomader modhe dui ekjon shudhumatro ektu jara neglect korcho ba bhalo moto likcho na faki dicho i can see all of you and i can tell their names but i will not tell them uh tell but actually if you be a bit careful bit conscious and if you at least study daily your lessons so i think english will be so much easy for you and yes could not be finished i expected that an absolutely right answer could not be finished that's good and i think a lot of students will not be able to give the answer uh, to this question acha okay so the next question dear we are very close to the end of the test so other than a new shirt nothing buy buy me for last it so uh, this slides are very new for you and you have to be a bit very much careful about writing the answer and if you do not make any mistake so i think you will win today so other than a new shirt nothing buy buy me for last eid and one thing you will have to be careful always about the active and passive form of the verb and i think uh, you're careful enough because almost all of you have written down the correct answer so far so i think you be a bit careful inshallah you will do better other than a new shirt nothing dash by me for last eid yeah you are confused now <laughs> you are getting different answers so for three answers i have got so can be bought could be bought is bought can be bought so was bought and so many answers that means you are you have started making mistakes you have started making mistakes so be careful yes your answer is was bought is absolutely the right answer because that means i bought i bought nothing for last eid so that sentence is that other than a new shirt ekta notun shirt chhara ami kichu kine ni last eid and your tense is past indefinite tense your tense is past indefinite tense so this past indefinite tense in the passive that's why your answer was bought is absolutely the right answer okay and i am sorry those who have written down can or could why there will be can or could is there any use of uh, conditionals or so that 
and like that so this, this there is no conjunction this is a this is simply other than though it's a conjunction so here you see this was so easy and this is the only finite verb in this sentence okay okay next go so i will always be there wherever i call by you so be careful about the active and passive form of the verb i will always be there and you can sometimes make the bengali meaning also to understand them properly i will always be there wherever i will always be there wherever i call by you so a bit tough but i think it's not too tough actually you just think it just ponder over it clearly and you please write down so you don't make late actually whenever you will make late there will be a lot of confusions so at first glance uh, so I will always be there. I mean, she can have some of that. Bo, jokhoni, but jekha nee. Tumi, ba amake tumar dara ki daka hoye chilo na daka a lot of confusions now. I'm sorry. Just think it very simply. Just think it so simply. Uh, don't make it too tough. It is not 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 too tough. Yes, and your answer is absolutely right. Uh, I will always be there whenever I am called by you. Or your answer is also right. Whenever I will be called by you is also the right answer. Uh, I have been called. Amake daka hoyeche. Ami shikhane jabo na. Ashle eta amra nici na. So ekhane duita answer nici. So when you can write down I am called. Amake jokhon daka hoy ami shikhane jabo. Ortho ba daka hobe. I am Jabo. So I am called and will be called. These two answers I am taking. Okay. And then our dog barks whenever someone walk dash by our house. Our dog barks whenever someone walk dash our house. You please write down the answer. Hurry up. We have been slow. Uh, it to hurry up. That's <laughs> okay. You are thinking a lot. Uh, please write down the answer. Hurry up. Oh my goodness. When someone are worked, Akiv, where are you writing this answer? When someone are put a key, are boshe. Our is it the passive? <laughs> oh my goodness. Buy our house. <laughs> you are really confused, man. Worked a kokunui passive hota parena. It's never passive. So your answer is. Absolutely right answer is works, works. Eta. So our dog barks whenever someone works by our house. But I am also taking another answer. If someone writes down is working, is working is also the right answer. Okay. 
our uh, dog barks when someone is walking by our house this is the right answer i'm taking this answer and works those have written down is absolutely the right answer okay so uh, i'm taking both of the answers works or is working that's good and the next question is there i allow to go out by myself provided that i promise to be careful i allow to go out by myself provided that i promise to be careful তোমাদেরকে কি পড়াইলাম কত টাফেস্ট রুলস পড়াইলাম তোমরা হয়তো এখন অনেক কষ্ট পাচ্ছ বাট হোয়ান ইউ উইল গো ফর এনি ইউনিভার্সিটির অ্যাডমিশন টেস্ট অর ফর এনি কম্পিটিটিভ টেস্ট দেন ইউ উইল জাস্ট রিকল মি অ্যান্ড ইউ উইল থিঙ্ক দ্যাট ডে যে হাউ মাচ ইউ হ্যাভ বিন টট I allow to go out by myself provided that I promise to be careful. I'm sorry, probably uh, this rule is not clear to you and I'm sorry for that. Actually, uh, and none of you are actually writing the correct answer. Uh, so I expected at least one or two may write down the correct answer but uh, so far I have not got any right answer oh Navila why you are writing will allowed so what type of tense it is either it's active or passive will allow right so i'm sorry only i've got one answer right and that is would be allowed and this is a key why did and your answer only answer your answer is right so and my mona your answer is correct so i've got two answers there so would be allowed is the right answer because provided that is a conditional it's a con pro provided that many if ইফ ইউ থিঙ্ক যে তুমি চিন্তা করো আই উড বি অ্যালাউড টু গো আউট বাই মাই সেল আমাকে একা বাইরে যেতে দিয়েছিল অনুমতি দেওয়া হয়েছিল যদি হতো যদি আমি প্রমিস রাখতাম ঠিক আছে কেয়ারফুল হওয়ার জন্য সো প্রোভাইডেড দ্যাট মানে হচ্ছে যে ইফ অথবা ইন কেস দ্যাটস ওয়াই তুমি যদি প্রোভাইড দ্যাট এর জায়গায় যদি ইফ বসাও তাহলে কিন্তু একটা সেকেন্ড কন্ডিশনাল হবে সেকেন্ড কন্ডিশনাল হলে এবং এই ভাবটা প্যাসিভ তাহলে সেকেন্ড কন্ডিশনাল আমরা জানি যে উড কুড মাইড বসে যার পরে বি বসিয়ে ভারবে পাস পারি সুল ফর্ম বসাতে হবে সো এটা একটা সেকেন্ড কন্ডিশনাল ছিল এবং একটা জিনিস শিখে রাখলে আজকে সেটা হচ্ছে যে যখন প্রোভাইডেড দ্যাট থাকবে প্রোভাইডিং উইথ প্রোভাইডেড দ্যাট যখন থাকবে তখন আমরা আসলে এইটা তখন চিন্তা করব যে এটা একটা কন্ডিশনাল সেন্টেন্স ইফ আছে এটার পরিবর্তে ইফ দিয়ে চিন্তা করব ওকে নেক্সট দেখি আরেকটা এবার পারো কি না দ্য সেম টাইপ অফ কোয়েশন সো উই উইল গ্র্যান্ট হিম স্পেশাল ডিসকাউন্ট প্রোভাইডেড দ্যাট হি গ্যারেন্টি রেগুলার অর্ডার্স সো লেটস সি ডি অ্যান্ড ই আর অফ দ্য সেম টাইপ অফ কোয়েশনস বাট আই থিঙ্ক ইউ উইল বি কেয়ারফুল অ্যান্ড দিস টাইম আই উইল আই উইল সি যে হোয়াট দ্য আনসার ইউ আর গোয়িং টু রাইট সো আই হোয়াট ওয়ান আনসার শাম্মা অ্যান্ড ইফ ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড মাই ওয়ার্ল্ড ইফ ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড মাই রুল দ্যাট আই টোল্ড নাও হোয়াট ডিড আই সে নাও হোয়াট ডিড ইস সে I I said provided that মানে if just ধরে নাও যে provided that শব্দটা নেই ওই জায়গাটা if বসিয়ে সেন্টেন্সটা পড়ো Akiv you you are mistaken so I will not uh take you uh, you have written down two answers but both of your answers are wrong so what's the hell are you doing man 
so i told you that this is a conditional sentence this is a conditional sentence so just simply think provide that er bodole tumi if boshao okay i have got two answers uh, one answer i'm sorry for the spelling mistake so i'm not taking the answer of rifat sharia but the one answer that is correct and naim your your spelling mistake is there so only one answer is correct that is nabila so your one is correct answer so the answer is guarantees itata mane we will grant him a special discount if he guarantees regular orders that means ekhane shudhu provide that er bodole if dao tahole to hoye jacche and akibaidit no i will not take this answer now because uh, it's probably told and you have given two answers those are wrong so here yeah, this answer is wrong and onik what the answer have you written down onik guarantees oh you are all right onik your answer is correct thank you very much onik and the onik and nabila so i am taking both two answers Okay, thank you very much. This was a bit tough for you, probably. So let's see. This is the last slide. Okay, so uh, it is impossible for the boy to get on a cycle, let alone drive motorbike. Uh, would you please write down the answer? Hurry up. We have to finish the test. Uh, it's impossible for the boy to get on a cycle, let alone drive motorbike. You are thinking a lot. Uh, just uh, probably you know the meaning of let alone. Let alone means bola nish proyojon. That means bola bahullo. That means also that it is a child that is not only a shampoo, but it is a cycle that is a shampoo. So that is why it is a motorbike that is a shampoo. And probably. I was thinking a lot. You please write down the answer. So, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll not Afifa Rifada Yaz Shonali uh, Okay, uh, and this time your answers are wrong So your answer is drive It's impossible for the uh, for the boy to get on a bike let alone drive That means to get into Roy Gatsiagi To get on a bike to get তাহলে এক্ষেত্রে আসলে লেট এলানের পরে ওই টুটা কাজ করছে টু ড্রাইভ আ বাইক সো এখানে টুটা কমন নিচ্ছি সো এই ক্ষেত্রে যারা টু ড্রাইভ লিখেছ তাদের আনসারটা আমি নিচ্ছি বাট এরপর থেকে টুটাকে অমিট করে দিবে টুটা আর লিখবে না ওকে দ্য নেক্সট কোয়েশন ইজ দিয়ার নো বডি বিলিভস হিম ইভেন ইফ দ্য ট্রুথ টেল বাই হিম Okay, you uh, just just do it here. We are too late today. Actually, here for the test school of 40 marks, it need to have it should be shortened. It is really too tough to take the test. 50 marks is too tough. Uh, 
Uh, okay, uh, would you please write down the answer? So nobody believes him even if the truth. Oh. Okay, thank you. So, uh, listen to me. Uh, this is called a zero conditional. So, nobody believes him. Even if the truth is told, is told, not was told. So, nobody believes him even if the truth is told by him. He tells the truth, but nobody, nobody believes him. Okay. That's why he is told. Uh, is the right answer okay we are we are uh, going next so seed belts are necessary even if the car drive by him safely uh, probably you have been so much exhausted tired and you are rebuking me rebuking me a lot to lengthen the test <laughs> i'm sorry so uh, this is the last slide probably I don't know uh, and Monik very hurt so uh, no problem seat belts are uh, necessary even if the car think it simply don't think it so uh, so complex uh, in a complex way so seat belts are necessary even if the car uh, the same answer i've just given you yes your answer is right uh, navila what is driven can you explain it so driven is your answer not driven because drive drove driven uh, drive drive drove driven okay and the next question he met his friend nevertheless his brother hang for murder Saima I'm sorry not drove drove is the past form so you'll have to write down driving okay so he met his friend nevertheless his brother hang for murder and uh, would you please write down the answer Uh, that's good and i gave thank you very much the yes this answer was so easy and uh, of course was hanged is absolutely the right answer because you know hanged means fashita jola no that's where your answer is correct and the last question he is my worst enemy yet he admired by me he is my worst enemy even he admired by me. Okay, that's good and your answer is correct okay i'm taking both of your answers is admired or also was admired as this is not conditionals uh, so he's my worst enemy jodio amadera take prashan shakara hoye chilo othoba eta habitual fact holi is admired hote pare so both of your answers are correct those who have written down is admired or was admired okay and that's the end of the test and you now please count your marks so how much have you got yes and if you if your marks is between 46 to 50 you will get outstanding and some of you of course most of you will get outstanding today because you have done excellent fata fati 
uh, in your test today okay so and then very good range is 41 to 45 and then satisfactory is 36 to 40 so and today you are getting outstanding most of you probably right so let's see how much have we got uh, would you please write on your marks as well as your great point your evaluation that you have achieved today okay whether you have achieved uh, outstanding or very good or satisfactory okay that's fine no problem so navila has got outstanding onik has got outstanding thank you Nibir has got very good, so very uh, close to the outstanding, no problem. So thank you, and I am 44, and Maimona, thank you very much, congratulations. Nabila, congratulations. And uh, if I share your bed, <laughs> no, 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 uh, you're fine. 42 is a good marks, no doubt, very good, okay. So, Hey, Anik, uh, congratulations, Bolachi. You got outstanding. Thank you very much. So, what about the others? Shama, you have got very good. Okay. So, uh, for one thing that you will have to be careful about some of the mistakes that you committed, you made here. So, I think if you be careful about those mistakes, uh, uh, after all, you would get the uh, total marks. Okay. After that, I must appreciate you. I must salute you that you have been with me so long. And it is your passions that actually made you sit in front of the your mobile phones or your laptops. So that's why actually I'm really so happy uh, for your interest for this class, for this test. And actually I must appreciate your participation, your preparation as well for the test and uh, your enthusiasm and so on, your desire to get the highest marks and so on. So I really appreciate you and thank you very much see you on the on our zoom class on th sunday and invite you to join again in the next friday and we'll today we will also go for live live facebook live uh, on friday teachers of science college so see you then bye bye allah peace